Have you ever wondered if a vegan diet could be the answer to preventing or treating colon cancer? In this video, we'll reveal the five health benefits of a plant-based diet, from fiber-rich foods to cancer-fighting nutrients, and see what experts say about their impact on colon health. Stay tuned as we answer the question, can a vegan diet prevent or treat colon cancer? Let's get started. Kicking off our list at number five is increased fiber. Fiber helps keep your digestive system clean and clear. It is one of the nutrients that should be included in your diet if you want a healthy gut. But here's the thing, most people don't eat enough of it. Your colon is like a long tube and the fiber acts like a gentle broom sweeping trash out of the tube. It clears out waste that could harm and damage your colon if it stays there too long. Vegetarians usually get a lot more fiber. Their diets are packed with fiber-rich foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. On the other hand, people with Western diets often eat meals made up of prepackaged, fast, or high sugar foods. But fiber does more than just clean your colon. It also helps control important things in your body, like insulin. Insulin is a hormone that can increase cancer risk, there's too much of it. Research confirms that vegetarian diets, which are high in fiber, can lower levels of insulin and something called IGF-1. IGF-1 is another hormone that can make cancer grow faster. So by eating more fiber, you're giving your body extra protection against cancer. Another study in the journal Frontiers in Public Health found that plant-based diets, which are high in fiber, helped protect against all kinds of digestive system cancers, including colon cancer. So how much fiber do you need to get these health benefits? Experts say we should aim for 25 to 30 grams of fiber every day. This amount of fiber is easy to get if you eat a lot of plant-based foods. If you want to include more fiber in your diet, try beans, apples, and whole grains like brown rice and oatmeal. These foods can also have lots of other good nutrients that help keep you healthy. Coming in at number four is the presence of phytochemical powerhouses. Plant-based diets have compounds called phytochemicals. They can be a powerful weapon against cancer. They are natural substances found in fruits and veggies that give their bright colors. They also help protect our bodies from harm, including cancer. When you eat a lot of colorful fruits and vegetables, you're giving your body a big dose of these cancer-fighting compounds. On the other hand, meat and processed foods don't have a lot of phytochemicals at all. This is another reason why vegan diets can be beneficial. But how do they work? Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and kale contain a phytochemical called sulforaphane. Studies show that sulforaphane can communicate with our cancer cells to stop growing. It also helps our bodies get rid of harmful substances that could cause cancer. Another powerful phytochemical is lycopene, a compound that gives tomatoes their bright red color. Additionally, Research has found that eating more lycopene can lower the risk of prostate and colorectal cancers. Lycopene protects our cells from damage and stops cancer cells from growing. Experts say eating lots of colorful fruits and vegetables can lower your cancer risk. This is because different colors often mean different types of phytochemicals. So, which vegetables offer the most protection against cancer? While all vegetables are good for you, Cruciferous vegetables are at the top of the list. They can help protect your colon with their sulforaphane content. Eating a variety of foods will give your body a powerful mix of phytochemicals. These can prevent cancer and nourish your body at the same time. Sliding into number three is no processed meat. The World Health Organization has classified processed meats as group one carcinogens. This means they're in the same category as tobacco when it comes to cancer risk. But what exactly counts as processed meat? These meats go through salting or curing to enhance flavor or improve preservation. Examples of processed meat are hot dogs, bacon, and some deli meats. Two major culprits of processed meats are nitrites and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These chemicals can damage our DNA and promote cancer growth. Studies found that eating one hot dog a day, 50 grams of processed meat, can increase your colorectal cancer risk by 18%. Now lies the question, if processed meats are so bad, how quickly can cutting them out make a difference? Fortunately, 
If you stop eating processed meats immediately, it can lead to significant benefits. Your risk for cancer will be reduced quickly. Experts suggest that the risk of colorectal cancer can decrease within 5 to 10 years after stopping processed meat consumption. This means that choosing to cut out processed meats today could have a real impact on your health in the near future. At number 2, we have no dairy products. Usually, official dietary guidelines recommend dairy as part of a healthy diet. However, emerging research is now discovering its harmful effects. Recent studies suggest that high dairy intake might increase the risk of certain cancers, especially colon cancer. This has sparked a heated debate in the nutrition world. So what's the science behind this potential link? One key factor is insulin-like growth factor 1, or IGF-1. Dairy consumption can raise levels of IGF-1 in our bodies. IGF-1 is important for growth and development but too much of it can trigger your body to develop tumors. A study funded by the National Cancer Institute found that women who drank just one-fourth to one-third cup of cow's milk per day had a 30% higher chance of breast cancer. Moreover, a cup of milk daily raises the risk to 50%, and if you have two to three cups daily, your cancer risk increases to a whopping 80%. While this study focused on breast cancer, it raises concerns about dairy's effects on other cancers too. A 2021 review of multiple studies published in the journal Oncology showed that high-fat dairy products might be linked to a higher risk of colorectal cancer. On the flip side, the same review found that yogurt might actually help lower the risk. This suggests that not all dairy products are created equal when it comes to cancer risk. Dr. Edward Giovannucci, a professor at Harvard, suggests that diets with lower insulin and IGF-1 levels might help reduce colorectal cancer risk. These diets typically include less dairy and meat compared to traditional Western diets. This aligns with the idea that plant-based diets could be protective against colon cancer. Finally, at number one is increased soy. Many people worry that soy might increase cancer risk, especially for breast cancer. This fear comes from the fact that soy contains compounds called isoflavones. These compounds are almost similar in structure to estrogen. Estrogen is responsible for the growth of some breast cancers. Reducing it can lower the cancer growth or lower the chance of it returning. However, research shows that soy doesn't act like human estrogen in our bodies. It might even help protect against some types of cancer. So how does soy fight cancer? The secret is in those isoflavones we mentioned earlier. These compounds interact with cancer cells in helpful ways. They can slow down cancer cell growth and even command cancer cells to destroy itself. Isoflavones also work as antioxidants, which means they can protect our cells from damage that could lead to cancer. One study had women eating 11 grams of soy protein daily. Researchers found that the women in the study had a 30% lower risk of their cancer coming back and dying from cancer. This supports the role of soy because it suggests that soy could play a key role in both preventing and treating cancer. But you might ask, how much soy should I eat to get these benefits? The American Institute for Cancer Research says that eating one to two servings of soy foods per day is enough for cancer prevention. Your choices can range from soy milk, half a cup of tofu, or a handful of edamame beans. But keep in mind that not all soy foods are created equal. It's best to avoid heavily processed soy products, like some meat substitutes, which might have added chemicals and less of the healthy nutrients. Now, let's talk about the power of the plant-based plate. What kinds of plants go on this anti-cancer plate? First, you'll want a large portion of leafy greens like spinach or kale. These are packed with antioxidants that help protect your cells from damage. Next. Add some cruciferous vegetables like broccoli or cauliflower. These contain powerful compounds that can potentially stop your cancer cells from growing. Consider adding colorful fruits and vegetables like tomatoes for their lycopene content, which has been linked to lower cancer risk. Adding some berries to the plate will also give you a dose of antioxidants that can fight inflammation. Moreover, whole grains and legumes are also important in this anti-cancer meal. 
They're high in fiber, which is crucial for colon health. They also provide protein without the risks associated with processed meats. But does this plant-based approach really make a difference? Studies show that people who follow plant-based diets have lower rates of many types of cancer, including colon cancer. One large study found that vegetarians had a 22% lower risk of colorectal cancer compared to non-vegetarians. While long-term habits are most important, research says that you might see improvements in your health within just a few weeks of adopting a plant-based diet. And there you have it. We answered the question, can a vegan diet prevent or treat colon cancer? Every meal is an opportunity to protect your health. Why not start by swapping one meat-based meal for a colorful vegan option this week? What are your thoughts on the potential of a vegan diet in preventing or treating colon cancer? Have you or someone you know made dietary changes for health reasons? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest health tips. And if this video has been valuable to you, consider sending us a super thanks. It's a wonderful way to support our channel and help us continue making informative content. Also, don't forget to check out our merchandise for some cool stuff. Thank you for watching and here's to your health.